Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's Waiting and Watching. We're out by the water's edge, as we so usually are. Let's look and see if there's anything out here. Oh, I think that might be some wild horses over there. Oh, that's a pair of antlers. That's nice. Let's go take a look. There we go. There we go. Oh, something's running. Let's just go nice and slow in here. focus on today. Beautiful elk, maybe? Interesting. Maybe a broken antler? It's only got so many points on one side. Hmm. Let's go back. We're gonna come around here. Let's see. It's actually really pretty. You know what? Why don't we start today out with a view here? There's a red marker over there where my character is. We can hide that with that bush right there. I like it. Okay, going here, you really get the sense of scope like you were out on the water right in front of this mountain range. I think I'd like to document that. moment. Now let's take a look around here. Let's see what's around. So as we said, we've got some wild horses here. four of them. Oh, nope. You're a deer. That's a buck in there. That's okay. Let's see. Oops, not the water. We don't really need to be in the water. We don't need to be that far wide. What we do, what makes for a good backdrop? Let's actually take a look around here. Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm liking this. Like the water in the background. Be back here in the trees like we're sitting back watching. Yeah. That's nice. That's very nice. chill and just a little shake oh that's nice let's see I'll let you go a little bit more oh there we go okay okay let's come down here have a 
heard, but if we're like down on eye level, that's about eye level. It's a bit of a zoom. You get the background. You can see there's water there. I like that one's got its leg raised. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. There it goes. Let's see what is the buck up to. Oh, you know what? If we went for a nice close up, like a rocky background. Yeah, let me put your head down to graze. Let's wait until you bring your head back up and then we'll pause right there. Just wait for the perfect moment to capture, like we so often do. hard to judge where the head will be. But we will wait. There we go. There we go. Let's see. What do we like about this? Well, we're in right next to a rock, so we don't want to be in the ground. I like this, I think. Feels a little busy. There's a lot going on there, but yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with it. That's good. That's good. Isn't this pretty? Go about human height, you know, a couple feet up. Do this. Hmm. Oh, there's an oak over there. And you can kind of see the horses on one side. A lakeside cabin. Can you imagine waking up every morning on a lake, being able to just take one step out your front door and have all this nature? out so when you go in the shadow oh. let's see here how 
far down can we go before we hit rocks? I like the bushes concealing this elk. Like we're right here in the bush with the elk. And when you lift your head up, you might just peek a little over it. Let's see. Let's just see here. Too high up there to really get a good image, but oh, are you gonna go back? We can get back there. No? Okay. I'll just watch you through the trees here. Through the bushes and the trees. <laughs> Lovely. out with some deer getting a drink see something like this <laughs> although I don't think deer typically stick their head all the way up to their eyes and water they drink but maybe if they're uh, I have seen a deer stick most of its head under the water one time because it was eating the uh, vegetation that was further down in the surface of the water anyway how about that I think this has been a nice day out been uh it's been nice on the water. The water brings so many things together. All the animals, everything's got to drink. Most things have to drink. I think that'll do it for this week. If you want to join us next week, we'll be doing more waiting and watching. We'll see you then.